Let's get started because y'all, we are here for part three of the series that's absolutely changing your life. The four things a service business owner must get right. If you have not listened to part one and part two, you can pause right now and go, or you can listen to this and then go listen to those. Um, they're not necessarily in a consecutive order of like step by step, but you do need to listen to this one before you listen to the next one. So <laughs> stay here, uh, listen to this one because today we're talking about what could app like probably be our favorite thing here at Boss Project. And it's designing your systems for structure. And if structure isn't the sexiest word you've ever heard of in your life, then I don't know what is. I just, it brings me back to, I just, I think a lot of you crave what happened in grade school and high school. And you, you miss kind of like having an agenda and like places to be and things to work on. And no, well, planner with your tabs. Did your high school give you like yearly agendas and planners yes. like, when the school year started? Yes. Loved it. It was amazing. It didn't have my classes in it. I had to yes. add my classes. I missed to it. those. I know they were, were like custom to that. They had like that school yes. year, that school on it. It was amazing. I loved I loved the planner life. Um and yes. I kind of struggled to figure out what it would look like as I grew up and aged and especially because I feel like we were in this weird technology warp where like everything was paper and then everything started going digital as we came into the workforce. And so like there was absolutely, I would say when we were early on in our career, especially here, there was a lot of like wars of like, are you a planner person or are you yeah. doing yeah. it online in some kind of way? Um, but I think for those of you who have craved the yesteryears of that kind of structure or felt like, you know, running your own business, often the idea of having no one tell you what to do and when can be so overwhelming. There's so many decisions to be made. There's so much you have to choose and decide. And I remember feeling decision fatigue really hard when we first yeah. started our business and yeah. I was like, I need someone else to decide every other aspect of my life because by the time I'm done with work, I have no more decisions left to be made. Like, I yeah. just can't. Well, and the thing is, is like, you know, we take it a step further from the what do you do day to day? Like, that's definitely involved in the structure that we help you set up inside the incubator. But I think like everyone forgets that like your entire business and multiple departments, even if it's still just you or a couple of VAs or a couple part-time employees still need structure. And yes. I think we forget not only the importance of it, but, and I'm going to harp on y'all for a second, that this is like literally part of your job when you, especially once you reach consistent 10 K months, you skirting by saying, I've got this far without a system. I've got this far without structure. Let me just keep going to see how far I can take it is going to be detrimental to the success of your business. And when we sit there and we talk to clients who are, you know, multiple six figure, seven figure clients who are literally burning the candle at both ends and they think that the problem is so much bigger than what it yes. is. And that it's going to take either so much money or so many people or so much time or learning or whatever to figure out when like, really, you just don't have a freaking structure like at all. And if you just had that, it's not it, like, it's not just an easy button. There are multiple things that need to be set up, but like that, that can actually be the difference in you enjoying your job again and being mm -hmm. more profitable and delivering a better experience. Yeah. Inside the program, we kind of call this the art and architecture. And specifically, like, it's not just your org chart and who's who's working and where they're working. It's how everything fits together. It's like the Legos of your business, you know, mm -hmm. like how operationally are you handling customer service? How are you tracking client projects and progress? How are you managing your calendar? How are you making sure you're staying on top of finances? These are all individual systems that work together for a greater good, mm -hmm. i.e. the business as a whole. Yeah. And I think it's so often for your business. 
<laughs> Say that again. It's the cult for your business. Oh my! Oh it's the my! Thing that determines what you should do. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> um. So if you have all these individualized systems, I think the thing that ends up happening for the majority is you may have one or two like really great systems that you're good about. Like you undoubtedly pay your bills uh, in your business. You pay off your credit card, whatever. Um, maybe because I've even seen people who like they're great at delivering their product, but then terrible at invoicing their clients. Mm -hmm. And then I'm mm -hmm. like, and they're worried about cash. And then they realize they have 28, have cash invoices, here. <laughs> 28 invoices they haven't sent out. And so I want you to be thinking about all of the systems inside your business and ultimately how they can work together. Mm -hmm. And if there's not a system in a place, like, what can be there to help you move forward? 